Here I stand. In 1982, I was convicted as a principal to second degree murder, along with my husband at that time. When the judge sentenced me, he said, Cheryl, you are sentenced to life in prison without the benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. That said to me that I would die in prison and I would be bought out in a body bag. People believed that, my family believed it. They mourned and grieved and whined and cried. I didn't believe it because I knew that there was a voice that had not been heard yet that I would hear, that I would trust, and that I would listen to until I was released and thereafter. Because see, man gave me what he said was justice. But I went to God for his mercy. So until God spoke, I lived 27 and a half years incarcerated. Every year on December 31st, just at midnight, I would get on my knees and pray. And I'd say, thank you, Lord, for keeping me, keeping my sanity, and my health, and my strength throughout this past year. And I want to thank you for my freedom in this upcoming year. And I said that every year. Never, it never failed. I never stopped. And I never quit believing that one day I would walk out of prison on two feet and not in the body.